can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jay. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three member to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee steps inside the octagon. Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the right. octagon tonight. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start. Tonight. Nice single. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. He's got to be careful here. Well, he's got his back now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistent. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Hey. Hey. Look to counter that hook! Let's go! Look to counter that hook! Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Three minutes. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Lee. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Lee's in half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions. He's having his way with him here. Lee getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. In the half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Yep, got to be very careful there. Massive shot from the top. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, 
These are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hip when he goes to land the strike. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Left. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Lands with the ground and pound. First round winding down here. Making all these shots count. Round two straight ahead. Stop. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did Ready it perfect. Fight. Ready. Round two on the way. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this. Anymore. No, and he does it in the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He's stuck. He's hurting bad here. Certainly found the target. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now some separation. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Slips the punch nicely there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, another blistering combination. Position. Continuing to go to the head. And a miss with the right hook. Nice job blocking that punch. Single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Right hand over the top. Oh! Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Lee. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. Oh, smokes. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises. Oh, he's in a ton of trouble right now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Man has his chin been tested early. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful body kick. Another big body kick. Kick 
there finally. 90 seconds now to go round two. Good right hand from the top. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now, look at this. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. He's hurt bad. Oh, with authority, the body. Big right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Misses with the right hand. Back kick there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Ready. Ready. Good Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Solid punch from the clinch here. Take down defense is there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely good. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Right hook to the head block. Straight punch is good. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you... Oh! He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Oh! Oh, there's that kick. And it lands. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking. Just over three minutes to go. Nice straight right legs. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Oh! So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so the redness is 
omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Sure, how many more of these his opponent can take? Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh my goodness, these boys are going out. Big right hand there. Oh! Ninety seconds to go. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Lands the grounded pound strike here. On oh, another punch on the ground, gets through. May need some defense here. Lee's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Gotta be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Final seconds of round three. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. And that's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. Right? You're not setting them up good enough, sir. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Back to his feet. Just misses with that one. Nice job by him defensively there. Offense is on the menu tonight. Back and forth we go. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. He does everything. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just misses with the left hook. Nice straight punch there. Kick to the body there, beautifully timed and placed by Lee. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Hard punch. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. And 
there's a takedown attempt. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single combo card. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, high kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, huge right hand. Body kick lands for this guy. You know, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot, that will finish the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, missed on that one. And he lands that sidekick. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what you expect. When you're expecting to win. Sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come now. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Whiffs on that offer. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl. 30 seconds to go. Those are the body kicks that are coming. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Nice strike. Potentially five to go. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round, and he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet, but if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. Ready so what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now, but we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Straight right is there. Oh, High-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Nice crack there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head move. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice transition. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. All right, feet on the hips here. 
Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Big shot. Go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Nice positional control here. Nice shots landing from the top position. In the half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Lee gets tagged by a solid uppercut there. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. One minute to go in the fight. Slips to avoid the right. Unable to connect there. Slam with the inside leg kick. Great job landing that head shot from the clinch. On, 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Beautiful jab lands. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly thus far, 